Israel has issued an evacuation order on the 1.5 million people that are currently seeking refuge in Rafah. Uh, 600,000 of those are children. Uh, we know that at least 23 people have been killed and thousands more are likely to be killed with the current incursion. I mean, we currently have, like I said, 1.5 million people holed up in a very, very small area that's very overpopulated anyway. You know, Gaza is known as the world's largest open air prison. So we've got 1.5 million people with absolutely nowhere to go. The risk of loss of life, of civilian innocent life is, is huge at the moment, unfortunately. Rafa at the moment is one of the main points of entry for aid getting into Gaza. Um, it's one of the few so-called so safe zones. If Rafa is bombed in the way that we think it will be, it will cause the whole infrastructure of humanitarian aid being able to get across the border to collapse. As Israel UK, we've consistently been sending aid into Gaza since October. Um, we have evidence of this both from our partners on the ground and from third party organisations as well. Israel has been working in Gaza for a very long time and certainly since this current invasion has started. Um, if we're not able to get our aid in uh, alongside many other NGOs that are working within Gaza, if the incursion is to continue on the border at Rafah, then the flow of aid will certainly be jeopardised. There are no safe spaces for the people of Gaza and there are certainly no safe spaces for the people of Rafah. There is nowhere for them to go. So we call on our leaders and international community to call for an immediate ceasefire.